Hey friends, today's day number two, living that carnival life. And I know it just got started, but I'm already excited. Um, I'm not sure how to work this now. I know I day one I did do a weigh-in, so I'm thinking maybe every week or every two weeks I'll do a weigh-in on the video just to see how that's going. But for sure I can tell you that and I don't know what, you know, definitely there's so much controversy on what actually does um, cause inflammation or pain. But I have stopped caffeine, so no coffee. Um, not right now anyways, maybe later on I will. Uh, so, so far today, um, it's, it's a little later because I am working, so... I am starting this video a little late. I am, it's 10.30, I'm taking my break um, for breakfast. I did have exactly the same thing I had yesterday or day one, which was four scrambled eggs in butter. And then instead of adding that slice of cheese, I just added the cream cheese. And I just basically scrape off. So total probably consume maybe one tablespoon of the cream cheese. Um, safe, same for day one. I know I probably said two to three tablespoons, but it's not. It's it's just a few scrapes here and there just to have that extra fat. And so for lunch, um, I'll go ahead and record meal number two. Right now, meal number one was just the eggs. Same thing as yesterday. So, um, And then meal number two today is going to be the same. I have leftover beef from yesterday. And then, so I'll show you then, and then I'm planning on some chicken for dinner. All right, so, so far we're good. And then, so maybe by next Monday on day um, eight, maybe that's when I'll go ahead and do another way uh, in update, just so you guys see how that's going. But um, I can tell you guys for sure that I actually feel a lot better. I felt like I got a good night's sleep. I did wake up like in the middle of the night, just my usual, just to go to the restroom and just urinate. Um, but um, as soon as I went back to sleep, I actually slept through. I was very tired, so that worked out really well. And then from there, I woke up this morning and just started getting ready for work and just ate my eggs. And that's it. So right now I feel satiated and not hungry. So my lunch for work, you know, I'll take it around noon and then I'll bring you guys that update, okay? So stay tuned for meal number two. All right, friends, meal number two. I get to share with you guys. So let me show you real quick. And I kind of already told you what I was going to eat. I had beef left over, so... This is basically what I'm going to eat for lunch. And see that? That's the butter. And this is the sauce that I made. The cream cheese sauce. And I'm having a slice of um, cheese. So there you have it. It's what I'm going to enjoy right now. So that's just the beef and that. And then for dinner, meal number two, the beef, meal number three for dinner. It's gonna be chicken. I haven't decided how I'm gonna have it. It's a big chicken breast, so I might just kinda like boil it. Um, add some salt, of course, not that many seasonings that I can add. And then I'm planning on once it's fully boiled and shredding it and then just um probably eat it just shredded maybe i'll add a little bit more of the sauce tastes so good i wish you guys could taste it it's just cream cheese i told you guys and butter so i browned the butter and while the it everything was softened i browned the butter once it was um softened uh once it was browned i mean I added the bar of cream cheese and then I just kind of dissolved the cream cheese, put salt, 
and then I added two scoops of the meat juice basically that I had left over from from when I was cooking the meat and then I kind of mix 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 until it became nice and pourable right now let me open it for you guys you can use it cold so it's solid like a butter like a cream cheese I guess so if you want it you can warm it up again and then just pour it but because the meat is hot I just uh, grab use my fork as you can saw the scratches on there and then I just pour it on top and mixed it and because the meat is warm then I just melt it away so there you are, friends, meal number two. And then I'm on my lunch break, so I'm about to go back to work in a few minutes. And then I'll update you again for meal number three. Probably do workouts, not right now, because of course I'm on my lunch break, so I gotta enjoy that. And then possibly for after dinner, then I'll do a little bit of more arm stretches. I don't wanna push myself because remember, I told you I've had a lot of shoulder pain and then neck pain and because of the accident. So um, my husband just brought me this that I can use to, to work out. So I'll be doing those little stretches. I don't know if you guys wanna see that. I don't wanna make the video too long either, but there you go, that's what I'll be doing. All right, peace. See you at meal number three, bye. Okay, friends, I'm back. I'm actually making meal number three for day number two. And I'm in the kitchen now, and I want to show you that chicken breast that I was talking about. So I ended up cutting the chicken like into fajitas. And that's cheesy, you see, melted there. This is the chicken broth because I first uh, heated up here. So that's chicken broth, no salt, no nothing, just the chicken and the water. So it's natural chicken broth. And so what I ended up doing is I added some of the butter. I added a stick of butter. And then when it was all melted, I added the chicken. And I browned the chicken just a little bit like this. You see it there? And then I added some of the chicken broth and then two of these tablespoons of sour cream since it is dairy and I can have dairy add on the product and then so now I mix mixing the chicken basically and it's done and it's 552 so it did take me a little while to cook it just because I was working got off of work and then I came straight to the kitchen and I started working on cutting the it was one big chicken breast with bone in. And then I gave the bone to Lucas because he loves it. He devoured it. It was nice and soft. Okay, and this is ready. So now I'm going to, of course, serve myself. Ooh, exciting. Nope, that's a little bowl. I'm going to eat a lot. I use this big one. And it is. I wish I would say it's so transparent. Can't even see. Maybe who? Hold on a second. Serve myself so you guys can see it served. Alright, so done. Here I'm going to show you what I just did. So I divided it, kind of divided it equally into two. One for today, and then this is probably going to be my lunch for tomorrow. Okay, so I have meal number three here, basically. And I'm going to cover this. So go get my lid. Ta-da. Oh, it's a four cup bowl. There's not four cups in there at all. That's the pan afterwards. It's just delis delicious cheese, probably that stuck. Yep, 
it's just cheese that's stuck but anyways that's still that's gonna be meal number three on day number two all right my amigos and then from here i'm just gonna do a little bit of exercise not a lot like i said i during my lunch i showed you guys a little stretchy thing that my husband brought me from the garage and you see that stuff up there i don't use it anymore it's just chilling there um my husband and my son are not doing carnivores so then um if anything i'll make him anything keto for them if anything but right now i have these prepared so meal prep for tomorrow's lunch and then i have my dinner today and then that's it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video completing day number two very excited I know it's only like six o'clock but I'm gonna eat this dinner work on day number one's video to get it uploaded and then hopefully you know of course day number three and then so on and so forth and then there you guys see there's not gonna be much of a change from day one to day two don't expect you guys to see it but I'm still going strong all right amigos Thank you so much for staying tuned. I love you guys so much. May God bless you all. And like I tell you in every video, don't forget, you do you, I'll do me, and then we'll see you in the next video. Bye.